So the Sewing Labs is a community sewing center where we teach sewing for two purposes. We teach sewing as a workforce development or a vocation. So you learn how to sew so that you can turn around and make a living using sewing as your avenue. But we also are a community sewing center where if you want to learn to sew for self-enrichment or quite frankly for therapy because it's kind of one of those things that sustains you, that you can come here and take a class and know that you're in a safe place where you know you're in a welcoming place so we teach you for entrepreneurship for employment and for self-enrichment primarily one of our teachers robert lackey is actually an art therapist and so um he's been a teacher for many many years but he'll talk to you all the time about the benefits of the wellness and the mindfulness of what sewing does for you as an individual so because we deal with a lot of individuals that come from at risk or stressful backgrounds, having them in a position or a place that you're just layering on that just supports them. It's great. I know how it brings people together. I know how that um, sewing historically has always been something that supported somebody, whether it is a quilting bee that brought a group of women together so that they helped the new kid on the block you know, raise their family or whether it was used for babies or weddings or sewing has always been something that's traditional and it's supported somebody in some capacity. We have um, probably four major areas in, in the sewing labs. We have a domestic sewing room, which has domestic sewing machines and sergers. So we teach people the fundamental skills of basic sewing and basic garment construction. We have in the industrial sewing machines, which is where we teach people to use industrial sergers, straight needles, cover stitches, and cover and blind hammers, which are the probably the most popular machines used in the manufacturing industry in most companies that hire people. In that side of the room, we teach production sewing and batch sewing for people who do manufacturing. Then we have our long arm quilting sewing machines that we use to teach people how to do long arm quilting that you can then hire our sewists to do work for you as well. And then we have our commercial embroidery machines, or we have one right now, we don't have more than one, but uh, again, for workforce development. Well, we are blessed that everything, we get so much from our community between the guilds and the sewers in Kansas City. So first of all, I'll just say how thankful I am for the community of sewers that we have in Kansas City. But we um, actively use their fabric stash or their fabric leftovers we use that in training as well as we give that to the students because we are in a part of town that has that we're in a fabric desert so there is no fabric stores in this area we take your threads your notions your tools so that we can supply people with those things as we and we also use them for train um, volunteers are really important to us we use volunteers to help either process donations or help in classrooms or even help with administrative type things i mean anywhere from um, mailing lists to uh, basic paperwork. I mean, there's all kinds of things a volunteer can do. I think that getting people involved and having them know that they are part and an intimate and important part of our community, even if they don't necessarily, even though they only come one day a week, they are just really important to keep the sewing labs going.